Okay, so welcome everyone to um, this year's exhibition match. So, Tabetuloa Neutus Otelun. I've been improving, yeah, trying. <laughs> Um, so this year's exhibition match uh, 2017, so of course we have our very homegrown Orly Tuminen and um, he's playing against Saraf Goshal of India. So Saraf, um, he's pretty much just flown in from Manchester where he competed in the uh, World Open. So um, I know that Orly would like to welcome everyone as well. So um, if Orly could come here please. I'm not sure where he's hiding. Let's see. Yeah, there he is. No niin. Oh, tja. No niin, siis hei vaan kaikille ja lämpimästi tervetuloa minunkin puolestani tähän, tähän tämän vuoden, vuoden otteluun. Tota, näitä pelejä on pelattu vähintään vuodesta 2005 lähtien, milloin oli ensimmäisen oli tai sitä ennenkin ehkä on järjestetty, mä vaan muistan niitä kaikki pelaajia, mutta tota, sillä oli sapana. Ja, ja joka kerta, kun mä yritän miettiä seuraavia vastustajia tätä tapahtumaa yleisesti, niin, niin äh, tulee ne mieleen, että saisi jotain liitettyä tähän yhteyteen. Että jotenkin itsestäni tämä pelkkä yksi ottelu vaikuttaa jotenkin vähän laimeelta sitten kuitenkin. Mutta, tota, mutta olen yrittänyt sitä monilta muiltakin kysyä, että mikä olisi, mitä olisi hyvää semmoista niin kuin ekstra ohjelmaa tässä. Ja tota, ilmeisesti monet on ollut aika tyytyväisiä, koska sanottu, että tämä on hyvä paketti ja on, on tota, hyviä pelejä ollut ja näin, että välttämättä sen ihmeenpäin tarvi. Mutta mulla on aina itselleni ollut semmoinen fiilis, että tota, esimerkiksi musiikkia. Meillä kerran oli maamella ole täällä semmoinen pieni lapsiryhmä vissi oli tota laulamassa ja se oli tosi hienoa, mutta ihan semmoinen kunnon musiikkiesityskin, että, että joskus kun mä pelaan ehkä sen viimeisen ottelun sitten joskus hamassa tulevaisuudessa, niin ehkä sitten saisi jonkun oikein kunnon bändi, että saataisiin vähän enemmän niin kuin eloa tähän kokonaisuuteen, vaikka, vaikka tämä itse ottelu tietenkin onkin toivottavasti vielä pari vuotta ainakin pääroolissa tässä. Mutta tota, mä ajattelin ottaa semmoisen varaslähdön tähän nyt ne, tota, tähän vuoteen. Mulle tuli idea, että mä, sain, mä näin, tota, törmäsin semmoisen kappaleeseen, joka oli tehty aika kauan aikaa sitten tota, äh, Squashin pelaajista ja tästä hienosta Squash-yhteisöstä, äh, mikä meillä täälläkin suur, niin kuin su, suurin joukoon on, on tota, paikalla. Ja yksittäisiä henkilöitä, henkilöitäkin, mitkä, mitkä esiintyy, esiintyy siinä, siinä laulussa, niin mä ajattelin, että se olisi hienoa, jos sen esittäisi ehkä tässä. Tässä nyt sitten ennen peliä ja, tota, ja kerran mä nyt on itse aika paljon laittanut omasta mielestä tai yrittänyt laittaa mahdollisimman paljon itseäni likomaan näihin, näihin tota, näiden peleen eteen, niin mä ajattelin, että jos mä yrittäisin esittää sen vaikka itse sitten <laughs> saman tien. <laughs> tota. Eli tota, pidemmittä puhetta mä vaihdan mikrofonia ja katsotaan toimiks toi niin kuin aamulla vielä. Tässä yksi ilta mietittiin, kun taas 
I hope I hope everyone enjoyed this uh, musical performance by Olli. So he's not just a good squash player, but um, he can actually play the piano as well. And I know that he's actually self-taught piano player and singer. And um, our next point in our program today will be um, a little raffle. So um, Saurav was kind enough uh, to give us a T-shirt, uh, which he actually wore in the uh, World Team Championships in France uh, just recently. So it's an Indian national team T-shirt. And uh, we asked you um, questions earlier when you came in. So um, I would need some help from a little fairy. Maybe would you like to come? Yes, 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 yes. So um, he's gonna, boy, hey. Um, so you're gonna just pick, pick a little paper. So we have a winner. Yeah, Kitos. So, okay. So this is uh, Saurav's T-shirt. So it says. Um, India on the back, and our winner is, yeah, just checking, so Saurav played uh, Gavat in the round of 16, and uh, unfortunately he lost 3-1 uh, to Gavat, and the winner is Arto Raunio. Is Arto here? Yes. So, there you go. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Kitos, thank you. He does. Well done. <laughs> okay, and um, we're just about to start. Let me just go and check for the final preparations before we uh, call the players on court. So just bear with me for a little moment and you can get comfortable in your seats and we still have a little, little more suspension going on. So just for a tiny, tiny little bit. So, um, first of all, we're going to welcome on court uh, Saurav Goshal, current number 16 in the world. Um, Oli Tumin and current number 49 in the world. So big, big applause for Oli. And uh, just to give you a little bit of information about the players while they're having the warm-up. So on the left side, of course, we have Saurav Goshal from India. He is 31 years old. His current world ranking is number 16. His highest world ranking was number 15 in 2015. He's the Indian number one, and he has won 12 Indian national titles. 
He's been a member of the PSA World Tour since 2003, and he has won seven titles on the World Tour, with his most recent title coming last month in a $50,000 tournament in India. In 2004, he was the first Indian ever to win the British Junior Open under 19 title. And he's also the first Indian player to reach the top 20 in the world, which um, happened in 2013. And of course, on the other side, we have Olli. He is 38 years old. His cu current world ranking is 49. His highest world ranking was 13 in 2006. He is the Finnish number one, and he has won an incredible 17 Finnish national titles. He's been a member of the PSA World Tour since 1997, so he's playing in his 21st season. So he's a very experienced player, and he's actually competed in 501 matches on the PSA World Tour. He has won 13 PSA titles. His most recent came in February this year, where he won the Portland Open, uh, which was a $50,000 event. Um, he became European champion in 2012 on this court, and he also competed in his 20th European team championships, um, which also took uh, place here in Talihalli um, in uh, May, well, at the end of April this year. So um, I'm wishing everyone a good match, so enjoy.
Ladies and gentlemen, classic exhibition match. Saurav Gosal of India to serve. Oli Tuominen of Finland to receive best of five games. Love all. One love. And out one all. Down. And out to you all. Excuse me. Down. Three, two. And out three four. Down. Four all. Down. 
And out, five, four. Not up. Six four. Down. Seven four. Yes, let seven four. Right side. Are you sure not here? No, no, from the right. Down. Eight four. And out, five, eight. Down. And out, nine, five. And out, six, nine.
And out, 10-6, game ball. Eleven six game to Gosal. Gosal leads one game to Lal. Okay, so I'm here with uh, Matthias Tuomi, and he's also a member of the Finnish uh, men's national team. He actually came in second in the Finnish nationals um, this season. So, Matthias, this is pretty much like. Uh, watching um, India play Finland in some world team event, for example, having the number ones play each other. So um, obviously being on uh, Oli's side, being Finnish, um, how would you analyze the first game and what would be your advice for Oli for the second game now? No, Oli oli ehkä vähän hermostunut alku toho, että huomasi, että Saurav ehkä vähän rennommin lähti, lähti hakemaan, mutta löysi sen peli aika hyviä. Vaikka se ei lyö hirveän kovaa, niin sillä on aika tarkkaa, tarkkaa ja kova tempo se peli kuitenkin, että Olli pitäisi vähän päästä sitä omaa, omaa tempoa pelaamaan ja ehkä vähän välillä enemmän väliä kanssa ja rikkoa, rikkoa ja ottaa oma tila siellä kentällä. Okei, okay, thank you. We will see uh, how it's gonna manage in the second game now. Thank you. 15 seconds. Goza leads, one game to love, love all. One love. <laughs> and out, one all. Hand out to one. Down. And out to all.
Three, two. Four, two. Five, two. Down. And out, three, five. And out, six, three. Seven, three. No let. And out four eight. Five eight. Down. And out nine five. Down. Ten five, game all. Eleven five game to Tuominen. Tuominen uh, games are one off. And uh, have you been watching a lot of um, squash this week for the uh, World Open in Manchester now? No, kyllä joka ilta on tullut pelejä katsottu tietysti. Suosittelen kyllä kaikille Eurosport playeria, että ei ole mikään maksettu mainos, mutta se on edullista ja hyvä laatusta ja sieltä voi katsoa myöskin pyöräilyä. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Fifteen seconds.
Games are one all. Two minutes to serve. Love all. Out. One love. Out, out, out. Hand out, one all. Two, one. Three, one. Four Down. And out to four. Three, four. I saw it good. I saw it good. Yeah. Four off. Right side. Five, four. Out, out, out. Out. Oh. First round. First round. And out, five all. And out, 6-5. Down. And out, 6 off.
Seven six. Eight six. And out seven eight. Oh. And out nine seven. Ten seven game ball. <laughs> and out eight ten game ball. Nine ten, game ball. Ten all. Player to win by two clear points. Eleven ten, game ball. Hey. And out, eleven all. Yes, let Whoa. eleven all. Right, 
12-11. Game ball. Thirteen eleven, game to Gosal. Gosal leaves two games to one. Joo, kyllä tempo aika paljon nopeampi kuin omissa peleissä ainakin. Et. Ihan viihdyttävää katsottavaa. And uh, how about you, Mary? What, what uh, aspects do you like about watching, watching the game here? Uh, no ihan kiva katsoa, että millaisia erilaisia taktiikoita pelaajilla on. Ja myös mä katson tota volleyä pelaamista, että se on tosi hyvää. And uh, who do you think is going to win the next game? Toivottavasti <laughs> Olli. Okay, thank you. Fifteen seconds. Gosa leads two games to one, and love all. <laughs> one love. And out one all. Down. And out two one. Three one. Oh. And out two three. And out for two.
Five two. And out three five. Four five. And out six four. Down seven four. Seven four. And out five seven. And out eight five. Down and out six eight. Out, 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 seven eight. Eight all. And out nine eight.
And out, nine all. Out. Ten nine, game ball. Eleven nine, game two, two minute, games are two all. It's the next sports events um, taking place here in Talihali. No, joo, meillä on meillä on tota seniori SM kisat tulossa tässä kuukauden päästä ja heti sen perään yleiset SM kisat ja sitten varmaan playoffsit en tiedä, mutta mutta paljon on tapahtumia ja paljon kivoja pelejä. Okay, so, so that would be for this season, but I'm sure next season there's going to be more, more events happening in Tali again. So, thank you. 15 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, game start to you all, final game, winner takes it all. Love all. One love. Down. Two love. Oh, and out one, two. Two all. Yes, let two all. Three, two.
Four two. Yes, let four two. Down five two. Six two. Stroke to Gossam. Seven. Two. Let's play a let. <laughs> Seven two. Down. And now three seven. Four seven. Yes, at four seven.
And out, 8-4. Ten four championship ball. Well, judging, judging from the heart rate, maybe, maybe best of five is enough. Um, we've actually been watching a little bit, and um, yeah, this is wrong, right? are you sure? This is wrong. Yeah. So, um, if if it's correct, then um, Saurav's heart rate was actually about 20 beats higher. Yeah, yeah, than Olis. And um, what do you think your highest um, heart rate was during the match? 185? Yeah, yeah, the highest I saw was 190 actually. Yeah. <laughs> but. <laughs> okay, but uh, tell us a little bit about um, the match now and what, what were your tactics if you want to give them away? My tactics was to make sure that this referee didn't make any decisions for me. <laughs> so, to keep the ball as far away from me as possible. Yeah, simple as that. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, Oli, how about you? I mean, obviously, judging from the heart rate, you seem to be well, um, more okay, but looking at you, it felt like you were very, very, very uh, pushed. <laughs> um, if, if, yeah. Well, actually, I had the same tactic, try to get the ball as, as far away from him as possible. So, so I don't know if, if I quite succeeded. In that, but yeah, uh, well, he's obviously a good player and uh, plays with a pretty high pace. And uh, and uh, I used to be able to handle it, but not, <laughs> not so well, I guess anymore. I, st I, th I still think I do, but uh, but uh, it catches me up in the in the fifth uh, a bit more than it did before. So, but uh, yeah, he's really good to the front. I was quite happy how I 
how I moved actually in, in general, uh, especially to the front, because he, he plays a really, really good balls to the front, and you have to be really alert and you know focused all the time to actually um, go there, like react really quickly, because otherwise it's just the bounce is so low. And normally when we when we play with the lower tin as well, so it's built on ammattilaisista matalammalla, so. Uh, it's even, yeah, it's, it's even harder, but now it's, it's still on the class court. The ball doesn't bounce quite as much, and it's hard to get those balls back. But I'm, I was quite happy that I could keep up with until the, until the last, maybe, last game. And, and I've, I've played okay. I've played better matches, of course. You've seen me play better matches. <laughs> Big time. So. <laughs> but it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Oh, okay, and um, Saurav, so obviously, I mean, we heard earlier, like, your achievements, obviously, you have an outstanding record, um, especially, like, for an Indian player, you've set a lot of records uh, for Indian squash, uh, Indian male squash, and, um, yeah, um, how has your season been going so far? Uh, before I answer that, I'd just like to say that this court that you have over here, no jokes, it's a really, really nice court. Like, it's, it's one of the best glass courts I've played on. And I've played on a lot of glass courts, so you're really lucky to have, have this court. So congratulations to this club and whoever has got this. It's a really good court. Uh, it's a good court because it gives you um, like a reward for good shots, both to the back and to the front. Um, and I think that's what squash is all about. And that's the best way to be able to, um, as players, to be able to entertain uh, everyone. Um, obviously, Oli didn't entertain you much, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that was his forte, you know, the singing and everything. So, <laughs> no, all jokes aside, but it's a really good quote. So, thanks a lot for having me here. Um, regarding my season, um, I think um, last, you know, last year, uh, before sep this September uh, in 2016, uh, I had some injuries and um, I was struggling to kind of train the way I wanted to train. Um, so, I didn't have the rhythm and the physicality to be able to hang with the, uh, with the top, top guys. Uh, but I had a really good summer. My body's in better shape, although right now it's like creaking at the end of the season. <laughs> I need some rest. Uh, but um, yeah, so my body was in better shape and I could train better. And uh, the whole period of training was there was more rhythm. I could do harder sessions on a more consistent basis. So, so yeah, so I think I'm, I'm happy with um, the improvements I've made uh, this season. Uh, I think in a lot of ways I've, uh, I've taken the step up um, in terms of uh, the squash that I'm playing. Uh, I know my ranking is 16 right now, 15 is my highest, but I think I'm playing a lot better than, than what I was playing when I was 15 and uh, earlier on. Um, and I'm pushing the, the top guys really close and I've had a lot of good top 10 wins as well this season. So, so I'm happy with that. Of course, you know, I'm, there are things to work on and, um, you know, things to improve uh, for me to get into the top 10 and get into the top five, which is what I want to do. Um, but yeah, so now we have we have some time off uh, where um, I can have all the stuff that I bought from the Christmas markets today. <laughs> By the way, there's a shop. Where is the shop? Uh, which shop? The salty, salted caramel. Oh, it's in the uh, top of the shop. Yeah, there's a yeah. shop there which has salted caramel chocolate. It is unbelievable. <laughs> Birgit will tell you. She bought yeah, this, this, this bigger slab <laughs> this morning. It's like this much now. <laughs> so... Uh, so it gives us some time to, to have, have all of that, uh, but at the same time get in some good summer, uh, well, winter off-season training and, and hopefully the next one is the Tournament of Champions in New York, which I'm sure you all have seen before. So hopefully um, I will come back um, and play well starting with that tournament in January next year. And uh, how about you, uh, Oli? No, I think I can change the finish now. Yes, please. Uh, no, see, Mun kausi on mennyt itse ihan, ihan mukavasti myöskin. Tota, äh, mulla on tietenkin tärkeää se, että mä vielä pystyn pelaamaan ja pysyn kunnossa ja kroppa, kroppa toimii ja pystyn oikeasti vielä haastamaan ja pitämään tasoa niin yllä. Että, tota, et mun mielestä kisat on ollut aika kohtalaisen tasaisia, ei mitään ihan, ihan katastrofituloksia, mutta ei tietenkään mitään ehkä semmoisia huippusuorituksia, mitä joskus on, on tottunut, tottunut tota, saamaan aikaan. Mutta, mutta on kyllä kaikin puolin erittäin, erittäin tyytyväinen silti, että että hyviä kisoja ja kyllä tässä kuitenkin ruutulippu ehkä hiljalleen rupeaa rupea lähestymään niin kuin siinä 
käsiohjelmassakin ehkä kirjoitin. Ja tota, ja, ja, Koitetaan ainakin painia kunnolla ja taistella vietää kevät tästä, tästä ja katsellaan sitten, että mitä, mitä tapahtuu. Että siellä on paljon hyviä kisoja. Mä esimerkiksi pelaan, pelaan Mikkelissä Sarkon Finnish Openin, pelaan, pelaan tänä vuonna. Tänä vuonna ja, ja tota, tietenkin on pelannut paljon ää, Suomen, Suomen tota liikaa, liikaa tietenkin mulla on ko, ko, Kouvala joukkueessa. Ja, tota, ja, ja, ja tietenkin SM tulee ja kaikki, että, siihen, että kyllähän tässä on vielä, vielä hienoja kilpailuja ilman muuta jäljellä, mutta, mutta katsotaan, että miten, miten, tota, mitä sitten sen jälkeen tapahtuu. And um, I think you've had these uh, exhibition matches um, for at least 12 years now. And do you think there's going to be more? Oh, joo, kyllä, ehdottomasti. Siis, siis kyllä mä nyt yritän pitää näitä matseja niin kauan, kun mä vaan jalkaa liikkuu. Uh, tota, ja, ja kyllä mä toivoisin, että mä pystyn järjestämään jonkun semmoisen, yhden semmoisen pienen isomman, isomman tapahtuman toivottavasti. Ei nyt ehkä mitään Hartwell Arenaa, mutta, tota, mutta jonkun sellaisen, että mä saisin ainakin jonkun jonkun semmoisen vähän nimekkä, no, nimimiehen tänne. Mä puhuin tuolla ää, Manchesterin MM-kisoissa sattui suihkuun samaan aikaan, toi Rami Ashur, joku varmaan sen tietää, niin jos sais, jos sais Rami Ashurin esimerkiksi tänne, niin hän oli kyllä kovin positiivisen hyvällä mielin sen suhteen, että se voisi onnistua, mutta hänelläkin on tietenkin Kropan kanssa paljon enemmän ongelmia kuin mulla, mulla ihmeä kyllä, mutta, tota, mutta et se, voisi olla, että se saattaa olla aika epävakaa, jos sitä pyytäisi, mutta, mutta se olisi niin kuin hieno kyllä päättää johonkin semmoiseen vähän, vähän isompaan otteluun, otteluun sitten, en mä tiedä ura, mutta toivottavasti tämä sarja ei vielä ehkä katkea siihenkään, että näytösotteluita saattaa, saattaa sen jälkeen vielä tulla, mutta kyllähän siis ammattilaispelit vaan valitettavasti, vaikka kuinka haluaisi, niin kyllähän se vaan fakta on, että Pikkuhiljaa, vaikka se mun hiipuminen ei ole kyllä tapahtunut kauhean nopeasti, ja mä edelleen itse tietenkin uskon, että mä pystyn niin liikkumaan ja pelaamaan yhtä hyvin kuin on ihan huiput, mutta kyllähän sen tuloksista valitettavasti näkee, että totuus on totuus, että ikä se pikkuhiljaa rupeaa, rupeaa tota, meikäläisenkin vaikuttaa. Että, 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 katsotaan, mitä tapahtuu. Että ei nyt vielä lopetella ja jätetä missään tapauksessa jäähyväksiä, mutta, mutta tota, tulevaisuus näyttää. Okei. Okay. Are there any questions? Um, yes. I think right now it's. Um, I think the squash is there. Um, I think I'm, I'm playing uh, at the level of uh, of pretty much most of the top ten. Um, it's now. It's it's bit, you know the rankings is based on points and. and Uh, how far you go in events, uh, and it's a 12-month rolling ranking, so um, it's a question of being able to continue the good form um, through the entire year, so into the next season, um, and obviously um, aiming to do better, uh, to you know get into like the top five and stuff like that. Uh, so you have to go deep in, so I lost last 16 in the World Open uh, day before yesterday to Karim Gawad, um, good match, so, so I have to win some of those matches. Um, to you know, get through. Uh, I would like to think I have a good game. <laughs> uh, no, I mean there are always like things which um, you know every player is different. So if you look at the top ten right now, I mean even if you just look at the top four, uh, where you have um, Greg Goldier at one, um, I think Gawa is two, Shorvagi three, and Ali Farag four. I think all four of them are very very different players in the way they play. Um, I think the the key is to be able to impose your game over the other person on that day, um, and if you can do that for long enough, uh, then um, then you're going to win the match. Um, I don't think um, you know I can be the same player as what Mohammad El Shorbagi is, or uh, I don't think Greg can be the same player that Ali Farag is. Um, it's a question of how we can make our own game, our own identity, uh, that much stronger. Um, so that um, no matter who we play, no matter which day we play on, um, eight or nine times out of ten, uh, when you're watching um, watching me play, it should so be that you're watching the game that I want to play rather than what the other person wants to play. And if that happens um, on a on a consistent basis, then um, it's going to be difficult uh, for people to to beat me. And it's it's very simple. It's like 
you are the best version of yourself. You cannot be a better version of someone else. So, so you have to aim to kind of get better at, at what you do, um, at what your strengths are, um, and negate um, and to s uh, negate some of the weaknesses so that your weaknesses don't get exposed uh, by the other person because everyone has weaknesses, the best players in the world. Uh, so it's a question of how you can stop the other person exposing those weaknesses. And um, if you can do it for long enough, um, obviously accuracy, precision in terms of what you're doing, um, the pace at which you play, the pace is really important. Like pretty much everyone in the top 40, 50 can play almost all the shots that, in, like all the players. But it's a question of being able to do it at the higher pace for uh, a longer period of time. So I think what Oli was trying to say as well before is that you know now the pace has gone up in the men's game so much higher, um, and it's it's about being able to take that ball that much quicker, not necessarily hitting it really hard. So a very very good example is uh, Mohammad El Shorbagi. He plays at a really high pace by absolutely destroying the ball. <laughs> um, but someone like Rami Ashur plays at, when he's at his best, probably at an even higher pace by taking the ball almost ahead of the tee, but not hitting it as hard. So it's a question of being able to play at that pace, giving your opponent that much lesser time to be able to think and do what he wants to do. Um, and uh, if you can do that, playing the game that you want to play, then you're going to be up there with the, with the best for, for some time to come. Any more questions? Uh, I mean, he's obviously world champion right now. I don't know if he's winning today, but he's still current world champion. So, uh, and he's two or three in the world. Uh, so he's obviously a very, very good player. The first game was was brutal. Um, normally, he doesn't start as well as he finishes matches. He's he's generally a slow starter, but um, yeah, he but he started really, really, really well. Like. First point, you, you, when you play someone, you can understand whether they're on it or not. And first point, I felt like he was up for this. So, I mean, that's maybe good for me because he obviously took me pretty seriously. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, the first game was good. I was I started off well in the second, and then um, I think where I lost it in the second and maybe the match as well a little bit is I had a little dip in um, maybe focus and intensity um, in the middle of the uh, middle of the second. Um, and my length kind of dropped off a little bit, and he's so good that he managed to put the balls away really well. It's not easy to do that when I'm when I'm actually playing properly and moving around really well, but he's got the skill uh, and, the, and the squash brain to be able to do it. Um, even then, I think I had uh, opportunities uh, to still maybe take it to the fifth and even maybe win, um, but I made a few wrong tactical decisions and shot selections, which... Obviously, in hindsight, is is easy to say, but that's something that uh, you know I have to um, hopefully do better next time, uh, so that I can put him under uh, under more pressure um, uh, to win. So, but it was a good match. It's um, you know, like I said, he's playing. He's definitely playing the best squash of his season right now because he hasn't started the season as well as uh, as what he did last year. Uh, but this is definitely the best squash he's playing this season. Um, and I was very, very close, so so I'm happy with the performance. There's a lot of positives to take from it because uh, there were periods in the game, like you said, when I was uh, executing what I wanted to do, and I was imposing my game on him, and I was uh, dominating him. Uh, but then, obviously, over the course of the match, he managed to do it more than more than I could. So it's something for me to t take positives from, but as well as learn to try and maybe uh, do a few things differently. Um, and maybe play a few different shots at different positions on the court um, to to be able to impose my game for a longer period of time and, and hopefully um, win next time. Question? I was, um, uh, I think I think it was like maybe the f uh, in the fourth we were at six all. Um, and then I was thinking that, yeah, if I win this fourth game, fifth, yeah, I know Gawad is, Gawad is really good in the fifth. But physically I was feeling good. 
and you know he was kind of and i was trying to feel the court a lot better but then i had this thought in my mind this uh, the flying fin is going to come for me <laughs> so i was like <laughs> okay and yeah and, and and i thought maybe you know he's like defending champion going out in the third round might not be so good so and plus um, i've never come to finland so i didn't want to start off on a bad note with all of you all um, so i thought okay maybe i can give him this match this time and then the next time we'll we'll, we'll figure it out <laughs> well i would have got the salted caramel today if i didn't lose the other day so positives uh so I'm based in India now, in Calcutta, which is my hometown. Um, I've been coached by Malcolm Wilstrop for a long time uh, in England. Uh, I was there for about eight years. Um, but right now, I wouldn't say I have a dedicated coach to myself. Um, I think I do a lot of stuff on my on my own and uh, back home. I know him, yes. I've not worked with him, but I know him very well. I'm actually involved with him. Um, he has a um, yes, uh, like an underprivileged school program. Um, which is called Khel Shala, and I'm, I'm actually the ambassador for it. Uh, so yeah, I meet him, um, I'd say, two, three times a year when I go there. Um, so I know him well, but no, we've not worked. He's not, he's very busy with his, with his program now, uh, and there's a lot of work to do. Um, and he's trying to help um, a lot of young kids who come from very uh, humble backgrounds. Uh, so, um, you know, he's busy with that. He was Janshar Khan's manager at one point in time, yes. Okay, um, yeah. You wave as well, but do you see? Yeah, we have uh, this generation that we have is the strongest generation we've ever had. Um, so I'm very, I'm very privileged to be part of this generation, and I'm very proud that that I'm almost I'm the oldest of the lot, and I'm almost leading the generation into into the new era, so to say. Um, we have um, the team that we have right now that played the world teams is is a strong team, and even outside that team, we have a couple of players who didn't make it who are playing really really well. Um, they didn't make it because of rankings. Um, but um, yeah, I think um, if at the end of the day it's an individual sport, so um, you know, hopefully all the guys will will continue to you know play well and, and work hard and um, and and you know take Indian squash to to the next level. Um, we we want to do we we created history in 2014 when we won the Asian Games gold. We've India's never won gold before in any team event, so to win it at the Asian Games was huge. Um, but we want to you know push the envelope even more. Uh, obviously, if we can defend it next year, it would be brilliant. Um, we want to do cause some damage in the Commonwealth Games next year. Uh, and then the ultimate aim, obviously, is to you know get on the podium at the World Teams. Uh, we came seventh this year. Um, I think we could have maybe pushed it a little bit more and gone slightly further. But you know there were a lot of good teams, and to come seventh is still good. But I think ov over the next two to four years, uh, at least until I retire, I think we have we have good chances to 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 make the podium and uh, and maybe yeah actually maybe even win it so that Egypt doesn't have it all their way every single time. <laughs> so uh, so yeah, I mean that's the aim. You know, you want you have to aim for the stars and then you'll probably reach the moon. So um, so we 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 all are ambitious. We all uh, want to do big things. Um, we all want to. Like I obviously I'm top 20 right now, but I want to be top five. And the guys behind me, uh, they are, they're, you know, hitting top 50, top 40. They want to get into the top 30, top 20 as well. So uh, everyone is 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 working in their own way and and working hard. And and the good thing is that most of the guys um, on the team are actually one, some of my best friends, uh, and we're all very very close, and we have a very very good um, understanding and and relationship with each other, and we are we're like helping each other to get better. And um, like one of the guys who's number two on the team is actually my best friend, uh, Harinder, Harinder Singh Sandhu. So, so you know, it's not like you know we're we're like scared that oh, if someone gets better, then he's gonna beat me or things like that. We actually want everyone to get better because if everyone starts playing well, the whole thing, 
the whole environment becomes a high performance excellence thing and everyone starts winning matches and, and it's going to be great for Indian squash. And, and I think if Indian squash does well, it'll be good for world squash as well because as you know, we have uh, more people than the earth can hold. Um, <laughs> and um, and um, if it gets really popular in India, I think uh, uh, a lot of sponsors and, and money uh, will flow into the sport, which can only be good for, for everyone. So, so hopefully for everyone's sake, um, and looking at the um, egalitarian view of society, we do really well for everyone. Onko vielä kysymyksiä? Tota, jos ei, niin mä voin sanoa itse tähän loppuun vielä muutamia, siis muutaman sanan ihan vaan. Siis kiittää, siis kiittää kaikkia teitä, jokaista, jotka on tullut tänne paikalle, ja tietenkin erityisesti kaikkia sponsoreita, jotka on mahdollistanut tämän tapahtuman. Ja, ja nämä on siis nämä on tosi hienoja, hienoja hetkiä mullekin, että mä pääsen tietenkin pelaamaan, pelaamaan kotiyleisön edessä ja täällä kotona Suomessa, kun aika paljon kilpailuita edelleen on ulkomailla. Ja toivon tosiaan, että että tulevaisuudessakin nämä lehterit täyttyy edelleen, että toivottavasti pääsitte tulevaisuudessakin paikalla. Ja toivottavasti, toivottavasti viihdyitte, viihdyitte tänä iltana kaikkeni, ainakin itse tein. Että tästä, tästä ei paljon pidemmälle enää pääse. Että, 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 että kiitoksia paljon ja, ja tota, oikein rauhallista joulun odotusta tässä loppuun. Kiitoksia. Okei. Okay. Uh, just a quick one before everyone um, leaves, uh, Saurav would like to have um, a little word as well. Um, finally, you know, I just, I just want to mention that, um, so this exhibition, like Birgit was saying, has been going on for like 12, 13 years or something. Um, at least in my knowledge, it's the longest running annual exhibition in the world. Um, um, and... And I've, uh, I've been in, in lovely Helsinki, although the weather seems to be a bit temperamental, like England, um, uh, since, um, since yesterday. And I've seen the amount of detail and, and work that, that Oli has put into um, bringing this night to you. Uh, he didn't practice the singing in front of me, though, uh, which I'm a bit sad about, because I would have made a bit of fun of him, but that's the way it goes. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, he's, he's done a lot of work, and to be able to keep it going for for 12, 13 years is, is, is a massive achievement. And uh, um, I would just like to thank him and obviously the club uh, for having me. Uh, but also I think you all are really lucky to have someone like, uh, like Oli do it, um, do something like this for you every year on this scale. Um, and to do it year on year is, is no easy task. And to get a different player every year, although I hope he gets me every year, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, thank you. and. Um, you all should be really happy to have someone like him and, and hopefully I will come back in a different capacity because you don't want to see me anymore playing squash. Uh, but uh, thanks a lot again and uh, Merry Christmas to you all and uh, have a great 2018 uh, for everyone. Thank you so much. <laughs>